Welcome back to World Beater Wrestling. Today we're going through a roll through cradle from a regular collar and elbow tie up. So, with this one, with our collar and elbow, our right hand is normally on the outside in, the, uh, in this kind of elbow lock up position. What we actually want is a bicep grip. So, we can start off in this position here, but we want to adjust real quick, get this inside bicep tie. From here, it opens up heaps of options if I want to shoot under, but today I'm going to go into a snap down. So after I step back, I'm just going to snap my opponent down, same side with the front headlock. Okay, so the, the hand that's on the collar, we're using to snap down into that front headlock. From here, I can control if I want to, but we're, we're going to turn this into a bit of a takedown. This arm is very important. I don't want it to be here, around the leg or up high. This closes off my entry point into the leg. So I need it to be clear. One real easy way to do that is by forcing it through with a C grip and hooking it with the same hand. So the hand that's locked in that front head lock, I can also lock up near the shoulder, back of the tricep to keep them locked in. Now I've got a very easy entry point for the takedown. When I'm doing the takedown, my hand is gonna rotate outwards. So my thumb's facing down. And as I shoot in, I wanna shoot my head down low if it's on top of the back, I'm gonna get crushed. So I want it to be under. So I'm almost gonna bridge and roll in that direction. Other options, if you don't wanna hook it this way, we could just shoot it through as we roll. We could also hook it over our own head in a, in a vertical suplex position and shoot through, but I'll show you the different outcomes depending on which way you enter. So from here, I've locked in that front headlock. I'm pushing it through and grabbing. Now when I'm ready, bridge and roll, end up in this top position. I could pin from here. Okay, I'm over the shoulders, release the hold and pin. But I don't have a lot of other options, the way I've hooked him. So if we do it the other way, where we're in the suplex position, you'll see how that changes the move. So from the front headlock, here, instead of hooking this way, I'm gonna go suplex position, pull through. You'll see now, as I extend up, I've got the arm trapped. So if I wanted to, this can open up different arm submissions. One in particular that we've done before is if I can have the arm on the other side of my neck, trapping it now with my right arm, as my opponent kicks out, they're generally gonna kick out with this shoulder, which now opens up nice arm bar entries. So one more time. You go lock up. Remember you want to switch your grip, get that bicep control. Use that to snap down, front headlock style. Just push the arm in or drag it over the top. The choice is yours. Once you're there, roll through, end in a pin, or if you really like, you could end up up, step, into an armbar. If you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button, spread the word, and if you have any questions or requests for World Beater Wrestling, don't be afraid to comment below.